In this video, we're going to talk about how to reset the scope meter and just some basic setup. We'll start by holding down the user key as we press and release the power button. The unit will beep twice and come up with factory default settings. I'm going to start off by changing my volts per division for channel A. I've got the rocker switch down here. Right now we're set for 5 volts per division. Hit the top end of this for millivolts. We change to 2. We've got a bigger display. To turn on channel B, I simply hit the B button. Channel B is on. You can see we have a measurement right now of AC sine wave. We can move that channel down with the move key. So I've got a nice clean display. The next thing I might want to do is to make some measurements. If I hit the scope button, I've got readings now for F1. They're turned off. F1 turns them on. I now see voltage and frequency for channel A. To modify those, I hit the F2 button for readings. Right now, reading 1 is on channel A, reading volts AC and DC. I want to measure VPWM for this since it's a variable frequency drive signal, pulse width modulation. I'll use the arrows to move channel A, highlight VPWM, hit enter. It describes the measurement for motor drive inverter outputs. I can close that, close this, and see my VPWM measurement now for channel A. I want to make the second reading for channel B. Go to readings again, press F1 to change to reading 2, bring channel A down to channel B, enter, and we'll leave it at frequency. We close that, now we have a reading for A, a reading for B, and that's some basic setup for the fluke scope meter.